Hello, this is Tony Martinetti. I'm in the Marriott Marquis in Times Square, New York City, at the uh, Association of Fundraising Professional New York City Chapter Fundraising Day, one of the premier one-day fundraising conferences in the country. And with me is Dave Lin. Dave is COO of Generosity Series. Dave, nice to talk to you. Welcome. Great to have, thanks for having me. Uh, it's a pleasure. Um, Generosity Series, you do peer-to-peer, uh, -peer, 5K runs and walks. Why should a, a nonprofit think about that kind of activity for their fundraising? Well, in the general scope, peer-to-peer -peer fundraising is where the most action is going on uh, for charitable fundraising at this point. Uh, we had a breakfast this morning about peer-to-peer -peer fundraising, and they're estimating approximately $35 billion is, was raised last year through peer-to-peer -peer fundraising. So it's a place that every charity really needs to be. Um, why specifically with the Generosity Series is a yeah. separate question. Uh, I was going to ask it, but I wanted to <laughs> set up the, the, uh, the premise first. Why should we even be talking about peer-to-peer? -peer? Right. All so, right. So I think it fits very well with you have the uh, fundraising ideas for the other 95%. So a lot of the very, very large organizations can pull off a large-scale run-walk and do so profitably. It's very difficult. It's very labor-intensive. But they could do it because they have the ability. But even for them, it's it's sometimes a, a large chore. But for certainly for a smaller organization or a mid-sized organization, it's something that's very difficult. It's something that's often foreign to them, something that's very expensive, and it's it's unpredictable. And the statistics show that if they do their own event, they lose money the first year, they break even the second year, and the third year, if they do it very well, they'll get $2 for every dollar that they invest. So we put together a platform that addresses that type of an issue. So working with Generosity Series, we can jump right to year three. Exactly. Because right, exactly. We can cut out the learning uh, that goes on in the first two years, figuring out how to do it. Right. So we. What are, so what are you? Uh, what are you providing that uh, that nonprofits don't have to figure out for themselves? Right. So I guess there are a few aspects. The first is the the uh, the level of expertise. Just like I could never in my life come on here and run a radio station. Okay. Or a radio pro know, radio station. program. Just a show. A radio yeah, program. A show. radio show. Um. Uh. But you do it fairly, uh, you know, seamlessly, right, um, but there is a lot that went into that over your years of experience and learning and trial and error. So someone who's going into the space, they don't have the expertise. There's a lot that goes on with just running a physical event. Let's put aside the fundraising, you know, setting up a course, getting it insured, uh, getting it, you know, getting timers and course management and parks and permits and all these other things. Uh, so there's that one issue that they don't have to take care of because we're going to take care of that event for them. And then there's that whole infrastructure you have around the the, the, the course, the, the, right. the start and the finish. There's right. got to be that big, you know, you got to have the gateway and all. Right. You got to have that stuff, exactly. right? I mean, you bring that. Right. So, yes. right. We have all the physical equipment as well as the mental equipment, I yes. guess. Yes. Okay. And of course, um, I think I didn't say this is all for multi-charity. Correct. Got, I, I think I might have left out multi-charity 5K runs and walks. That's correct. So yeah. what we're doing basically is crowdsourcing charity. So if you have a charity with like 25, 30 participants, that doesn't make an event. You can't, right. But you have 15, 20 of those and some of them larger, some of them a little smaller. They add up, they make a nice robust event uh, where, which also incorporates the fundraising side of it. So in, when they join the event, they also get fundraising software, they get graphic design, they get a customized package of uh, shirts, bibs, finisher medals, all of the things that are extras that uh, an organization, even if they're going into another existing event, is going to have to go into pocket to do. So they're getting all of that, almost like a plug and play type thing. You have a special team that helps on the fundraising side. Why don't you talk about that? Correct. So we have a, a charity support team, which is made up of, of uh, certified, licensed fundraising professionals, depending on what state they're working in. And uh, they help uh, charities, all of our charity partners, teach them a little bit about peer-to-peer -peer fundraising in general. How do they onboard people? How do they build their teams? And then from there, how do they tell, teach their people to do the fundraising? And they do that uh, phone support, there's email support, uh, there's conference calls, and there's materials and other collateral things that we give them. And we monitor them. We stay on top of them to say, hey, looks like you guys did great the, the last month. You slacked off this month. Let's think of a way to get re-energized. All right. So if I'm feeling a little uh, challenged, I can pick up the phone as a charity partner and talk to the support team. 100%. 100%. Okay. Uh, what should we leave, uh, leave people with uh, around generosity series and, and this kind of fundraising? So I guess the idea is that you really should be in the space, 
not everybody needs to be with generosity series. You sh if you're not in the peer-to-peer -peer uh, space, you need to be there. Uh, you know, you could find where your niche is. We think we provide a very good niche for small to medium-sized charities as well as larger. We have some of the larger nationwide charities here. We have five events coming up for the rest of the year. And where, we, where are those? So New York City, New Jersey, Miami, Atlanta, and Philadelphia and then every year growing to repeat those events. Um, we have a website they could look at, generosityseries.com, um, and we'd love to talk to you about your peer-to-peer -peer platform or, and your interest in Generosity Series. Becoming a charity partner. Exactly. Right? I love that, charity partner. It's cool. That's what it's about, working together. Dave Lynn, COO of Generosity Series. Dave, thanks so much. Thank you so much, Tony. My pleasure. Take care.